Thomas, welcome to the Progressive Soapbox. Julian Assange, founder of WikiLeaks. A hero. A hero. Julian Assange defined after Swedes dropped investigation. So, you know, Julian Assange was held up in the Ecuadorian embassy in Britain over, essentially, they had a rape allegation on him. I mean, it, it's, look, I can't be for certain, I think it's a trumped up charge. He was releasing information that was pissing people off and they wanted to find some way to put something on him to lock him up and shut him down. Um, Ecuador embassy gave him refuge. So he had asylum at this particular place. So even though they dropped the investigation, he's still stuck in the embassy. He's still stuck in the embassy. Um, let's go through the story because there's something interesting here that's, that's rather mind-blowing. Julian Assange has declared that the proper war is just commencing after Swedish prosecutors unexpectedly dropped the investigation into allegations of rape against him and a torturous seven-year extradition battle that nevertheless leaves significant question marks over his future. The 45-year WikiLeaks founder appeared on the balcony of the Ecuadorian embassy in London where he sought asylum in 2012 to avoid extradition to Sweden and said Friday's decision was an important victory. It was an important victory. And yet, you're still locked up. That's amazing. After raising a clenched fist and salute, <laughs> however, he vowed that threats made by U.S. officials that he could be arrested on espionage charges will not be tolerated, and said his organization was escalating its leak of documents against the CIA. I love that. Something in me grows for that. Like, it, it's... <laughs> that sounds nasty, but that's not what I meant. It's... Look... I have this thing, I, I, I think I've said it before, I'm an Aries Moon double Virgo. That Aries Moon is a hard dog to keep on the porch. And again, I use that purely as descriptive, not to back up um, um, astrology or anything. It's just descriptive of me for the most part. There's something in me when competition comes up or that level of um, inspiring badassness. There's something in me grows from that. I love it. It's like when you're watching a military picture and these guys are giving this rousing speech and you, you're right there with them like, yeah, let's go kick some ass, you know. That's how this feels. He's essentially taking on the power of the U.S. government. The United States government spends a trillion dollars a year on the military, can murder people abroad in multiple countries, and nobody does shit about it. Julian Assange is held up in an Ecuadorian embassy, spitting, <laughs> talking shit to the CIA in the United States. It will not be tolerated. I will not tolerate your threats. God damn, I love that. I love it. Assange still faces arrest over breaching his bail conditions if he leaves the embassy, the Metropolitan Police confirmed, and he feels the U.S. will seek his extradition over WikiLeaks publishing activities. That is exactly what they'll do. That is exactly what they'll do. They will pull him in on the technicality, and based upon that technicality, ship him to the United States. He is not a United States citizen. He's not a U.S. citizen. The United States has no jurisdiction over what he does. So how the hell is the United States going to get him extradited? He's not in the U.S. custody. He's in Britain. He's not subjected to our laws. How is the United States? In any way, Jeff Sessions is spitting all this game. How on earth is the United States going to come up with some law or rule based in this particular country and say that this law or rule applies to somebody else who's not a member of this country? That's amazing. That's amazing. This is not a situation where the military is involved and is going to murder somebody. This is somebody who's a citizen of another country. The United States doesn't like what he's publishing. And so they're pissed off at him. They're going to somehow use some law that doesn't exist. Use some means that doesn't exist. At least not within the rule of law. To get their hands on him. So he's stuck in that embassy. Even though there are no charges against him. For anything. That's amazing. That is the world to which we live. You other countries should be ashamed of yourselves. You should be ashamed. Absolutely ashamed. You let the United States invade one country after the next and let them murder people left and right and you don't say squat. You will get on your podiums, on your stand, whether it's Theresa May, whether it's people in some of these other countries, and you would bash one person after another, whether it's Assad, whether it's ISIS, whether it's whatever else. Trump, Obama, Bush. Bush killed a million Iraqis. None of you called for his ass to be held to the Hague. Obama killed thousands of civilians. None of you called for Obama to be dragged in front of the Hague. Trump is killing thousands of civilians. 
Nobody is calling for him to be dragged in front of the Hague. I don't understand your standards. I don't understand your standards. This guy is publishing information showing mass surveillance all across the world. Literally. He is publishing information showing that the CIA has been hacking into your countries willy-nilly and that the tools that they were using to hack into your countries have escaped. Where's your dignity? Where's your dignity? If you're a country, you're supposed to have this a firm ego of sorts that you are an independent body. Fine, show me your independent body. Why is the United States allowed to do this? And why don't you guys not say anything about it? Explain that to me. Explain that to me. Come on, Merkel. Explain that to me. May, explain that to me. In fact, May was one of those people who didn't learn from Tony Blair and was willing to put troops in one of these other countries. Oh, go ahead with the United States. This stuff is amazing to me. How the hell does the United States get jurisdiction over somebody who's not even a citizen of that particular country? And why the hell is Britain towing the line like some toady to put this person in custody of the United States to be tortured, which is essentially what American prisons are. Rape and torture centers. This is amazing. It's fucking amazing. Sweden's director of public prosecutions, Marine New York, made the surprise announcement on Friday morning that the country's authorities would no longer pursue an investigation into a rape claim by a woman in Stockholm in 2010. I still think that was trumped up. In what in these decision had not been taken because of any judgment regarding guilt or innocence, she said, but because prosecutors have concluded that all prospects of pursuing the investigation under present circumstances are exhausted. If Assange was to make himself available to Swedish courts in the future, however, I will be able to decide to resume the investigation immediately, she said. Well, that's a problem. Because that sounds like the case hasn't been dropped. It sounds like the case hasn't been dropped. Because, I mean, that line is important. If Assange were to make himself available, if Assange showed up in Sweden, his hometown, his home country, to the Swedish court in the future, however, I will be able to decide to resume the investigation immediately, she said. That's not safety. He's still stuck in that embassy. He's still stuck in that embassy. Saying that they dropped the charges is a little overstatement. Yes, they dropped them temporarily, but the woman is essentially saying, if he steps foot in this country, yes, I can bring these charges back again. In his appearance on Friday afternoon, the Australian described the period since his initial arrest as a terrible injustice and said, seven years without charge while my children grew up without me. That is not something I can forgive. That is not something I can forget. The lawyer representing the woman who accused Assange of rape said, it was a scandal that a suspected rapist can evade the law and therefore escape trial by court. My client is in shock and being dropped won't change the fact that Assange has exposed her to rape and very critical of the decision to drop the case. I gotta be honest, man, this is, I don't believe her. I'm sorry, I don't believe her. Now, I don't know anything about this woman. And is it possible that Assange did it? Yes, it's possible. It just seems pretty damn convenient that the guy who's releasing information showing corruption in one government after the next, including this particular government, all of a sudden, oh, he raped somebody. And in doing so, we need to grab him for prosecution. And once we grab him, we may extradite him to the United States. This is amazing. Assange appealed for Ecuador for asylum in 2012 after losing successive UK court battles to avoid extradition to Sweden. An investigation into a separate claim of sexual assault made by a second Swedish woman was dropped by Swedish authorities in 2015 after the statute of limitations expired. Assange has always denied the allegations. Yeah, man, that's... You, you, you must understand... The WikiLeaks is an amazing thing. I mean, you have this thing where, how do you know what your state is doing? Like, you're responsible for the things that your state does. They're governing based upon you. How do you know what they're doing? And they're always saying, hey, state secret. We can't tell you the state secret. State secret. We're required to be a state secret. Well, that's a problem. They have a vested interest in making everything a state secret. They don't want oversight. WikiLeaks rips the cover off and say, hey, this is what your government is doing. Are you okay with your government doing this? Your government is breaking the law. He's the bad guy for exposing governments breaking the law, breaking their own laws. It's amazing. And I did, this is amazing to me. He's a hero. He's a hero. In every situation where you think of somebody who's bucking the system, who's doing something that's noble and good, there's flack for it. 
you don't move society forward without some skin in the game. If you're thinking of what civil rights leaders went through, if you're thinking about what Gandhi and Indians went through, even in this case, the fact that he's putting out information about governmental corruption and government behavior, just complete misbehavior by governments. For the first time in history, you can see it, black and white. People with conscience give some information. He publishes that information so the public can see that information. That is a noble and worthy goal. That is an absolutely worthy goal. Anything that keeps WikiLeaks going is a damn good thing. It's a damn good thing. And good job to Ecuador. Good job. Good job. Because otherwise, they would have prosecuted him. They would have tortured him. And whether or not WikiLeaks could have persisted without him is unclear. But understand all the information that WikiLeaks has put out, including the Bernie thing, the fact that they cheated Sanders, the Wall Street Schultz getting fired. Those are real-world consequences based upon information that was revealed to the public that was true. It was true. So undervalue, understand the value of what he's doing. Um, yeah, yeah, understand the value of what he's doing. He should be released. He should be released. He's not under our laws. Whatever he needs to do to get rid of that thing in Sweden, that's one thing. But the United States has no jurisdiction over Assange at all. We have no jurisdiction in the UK at all. And the idea that the UK would lock him up over some trivial shit like that is embarrassing. It's embarrassing. You're like a lapdog at this point. What happened to the noble British Empire? Lapdog of America. Are you really going to return this guy to the country? What is your justification for doing it? And honestly, the only real justification you would have is because America told us to do so. That's real brave. That's real brave. Alright guys, if you enjoyed the content, feel free to share, write, subscribe, and you can always support the work through Patreon. And look, I am hard on other countries. Because I feel like, what are you doing? It's like, what are you doing? You guys have the European Union. And having the European Union, you have all these member states. All these guys are vying for power and everything else and jockeying for position. And the Euro is going to collapse because the Euro is a horrible idea. But the Union itself should stay together. That's an awesome thing. In the sense of the things that the United States is doing, you would think that these countries say, wait a minute, they're murdering a lot of people. What happened to this ethical Europe? This Europe that looked at the vagaries of its own past and look out at the world and say, all right, we, we're going to create the Hague, we're going to have a criminal court, and when people do things that are atrocious, we're going to drag them before the criminal court. What is your standard for atrocious? You need to define your standard for atrocious. Because my argument is, all these presidents match that standard and all of these last, particularly these last three, should be dragged before the Hague. I don't understand what you guys are doing. You're sitting there with your thumb in your ass as the United States murders people wholesale. You find some African dictator and you guys want to drag him in front of the Hague. That's real brave. The issue is, will you stand up to the U.S. power? That's the question. And up to this point, that answer has been no. We will be toadies, we will be lapdogs, we will be lemmings, and we will not interfere with the United States murdering civilians abroad. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it at this. Thanks guys.